What is up, YouTube? Hope you're good. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kevin Oblocky, but you can call me K Block or Kev in or whatever the <laughs> you want. I'm gonna be putting out some new videos this week so that way I can get to know you guys more, you guys can get to know me, and we can connect like celebrity, right? Yeah. <sighs> That made no sense. There is a lot I got to show you guys. I feel like everyone in this world has a purpose and a special story and something that makes them unique. And here's one of the things that makes me unique. So when I was a kid, growing up, I didn't have a ton of friends. I really did not. But I would come home to watch football. I've been making YouTube videos for close to six years. If you've been with me since day one, year two, year three, around there, all my videos were about football. If you're not into football, that's okay too, but you should still watch this because why not? And hit the subscribe button because I'm going to post a video tomorrow uh, and next week showing more personal things that are not football related. I would come home, watch internet streams. I would even like skip school or like, uh, you know, fake sick to go home to watch the games. So, but I have, I've always had a lot of cards, stickers, like collectibles, and I still have them. I'm excited to show you. Let's go. There we go. Here's a room full of all my childhood stuff pretty much right here. All right, we're going to start off super basic. So here's the Euro 2008 trophy. If you've been subscribed to me watching for a while, I did some videos with that thing. I still have it. Okay, so growing up, this is like uh, pretty common stuff. Adrenaline World Cup cards here for the Italian League. Even got some for the French League over here, the league in Scotland. And of course, Germany, the Bundesliga. Bastian Schweinsteiger was uh, one of my favorite players growing up. I have pretty much the complete set from every German year. I got all the, the tins that had the special cards in them and stuff. This is just a display box. And inside there's like six tins from the year that look like this on the screen. But I'd like to have the packaging too. Because why not? Makes you feel warm and good inside. So like the, the wrap from the packets and the stuff. So here's the league in France. In here is Eden Hazard's rookie card, uh, which I will show you here in a second. And now, and there's Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang. That's his rookie card. That's Eden Hazard's rookie card. There's another one of Eden Hazard. Also, I have a Polish background, so I have, you know, just, this is not a complete set, but it's close to it of the league's cards from that year. Um, here we go. We got England, English Premier League, of course. This is not complete, but it's close to it. Uh, this is the original Match Attacks collection. You just saw Ronaldo and Lampard in there. This is the Scotland Adrenaline set. It's very hard to complete. Uh, no real super big players in there. You know, when I played FIFA 2010, you know, I'd create a player. Here it is, Hibernian. I was the superstar striker for there, and, uh, I don't have a card. I should be right there, like the champion card, the goat card of K-Block. You know, FIFA 2010, you know, they make the dreams come true, right? Uh, here is the Road to the World Cup set. There are some ridiculously rare limited editions here that go for a ton of cash that I do have. It's not completed yet as you're looking here at the top. A lot of the rare cards are missing, but I have Christian Eriksen's uh, limited edition, Marcus Henriksen, Shakiri Inler. Those limited editions go for stupid money for whatever reason. They're just super tough to find, I guess. Uh, some Germany complete sets, of course. For match attacks. This is the 2010 World Cup uh, set. This is probably one of my favorite sets. I'm missing a, actually a lot of the cards, to be honest with you. I don't know. When I'm not lazy, I will complete it. But this is one of my favorite sets of all time. So is that year's 2010 uh, UEFA Champions League Super Strikes. Here's the limited editions. I'm missing, I think, three of them. This is probably also 2010, one of my favorite sets. <laughs> I got some random cards in here. Bastian Schweinsteiger, one of my favorite players growing up. Speaking of the devil himself, there he is. That is Schweinsteiger. So that set's complete. I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning to do when I'm done here. Over here, uh, we have more completed sets. This is the Euro 2008 set, the 2006-2007 shootout set. Uh, Topps also made a poker chip set. There is that. I don't feel like taking this whole thing out, I'm sorry. And I also keep the empty boxes too. This is the 2006 World Cup set. Uh, Ronaldo and Messi's rookie card. It's not their true rookie card, but it's one of their first, it's their first World Cup card. So the boxes sell for a lot of money online. Um, and then this one, but in here is Alex Morgan's rookie card. Card. Inside there is a bunch of cards and boxes I haven't gone through. It's a lot of base cards and stuff. Um, also in there is a bunch of single cards. Now we are going to go over. I'm going to show you guys some of the premier stuff I have. Anyways, here is a complete set of the World Cup cards of 2006. And then there's Messi and Ronaldo's World Cup card. This is really special. This is Kevin De Bruyne, uh, you know, one of my favorite players here. As you see, I have a bunch of cards of him. That's his first rookie card, pretty cool. Uh, that's one of my favorite cards of him. This one's special too. It's a photo of when he played in my home city, Cleveland, Ohio. I did not see the game that year. It was around the time when my mom passed away that summer, so I really wasn't in the mood to do anything, let alone go to a game. I opened so many World Cup prism boxes. Kept all the Ronaldos pretty much, and uh, I still have a few Messi's somewhere, and I have these Mbappes, but I can tell you, but I used to open so many boxes around World Cup time, and I donated a lot of the cards to kids in the hospitals. I'm um, just excited to want them, they're base cards, and I mean, they went way up in values. Hey, good for them, but hopefully the kids like them. Prices are ridiculous for boxes nowadays. It just, sports cards inflation has gone crazy.
One thing I preach about in a lot of these videos, two things. One, do what you love, have a fun time doing it. Second, always chase your goals and dreams, because why not? When I was a kid, I wanted to collect, you know, the football cards. It was fun. Something for me that brought a lot of joy to my life still does. I'm not really gonna like sell this stuff. I like to have it. It's a childhood memento. But it brought me a lot of joy. It still does knowing to have it. You know, I had to work, you know, to buy the cards and stuff while I was going to school and whatnot. So I would do that, you know, and then I'd save up and I'd buy this stuff. So yeah, I did what I love, had a fun time doing it. I chased my goals and dreams of completing sets, having cars and stuff so yes i don't want to encourage you to do the same so no matter what happens in life do what you love have a fun time doing it always chase your goals and dreams because why not you could be the one in a million i will see you guys tomorrow i'm going to show you another part of my life this is just a small part of it wait till you see tomorrow you're not going to believe it so do what you love have a fun time doing it always chase your goals and dreams because why not subscribe watch another video there and say bye to mr dolphin